Dave Scott here from Hub Media. Today I'm joined by Brad Lewis from the Urban Prejean in Port Dover at the corner of Maine and Chapman. Brad, tell us a little bit about this wonderful place you guys have. Well, it's, uh, we're into year five now. Uh, we're a French bakery. Um, we do our breads every day, fresh every day. Uh, cinnamon buns, croissants, and obviously the display case behind us is always uh, fresh stuff in there. And great coffee too, by the way. And in the lunch menu, I always come in and check out your lunch menu. It's fantastic. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Thank you. But the real reason we're here today is to talk a little baseball. Brad had an experience about a month ago, I guess, over in Buffalo. We went over to watch the Bisons play, and I'm hoping Brad will share that. Me and Brad have this huge passion for Blue Jays baseball, so let's talk a bit about that today, Brad. Yeah, I'm a huge uh, Jays fan, and it's ever since the Jays uh, were in Buffalo at AAA, um, go down a couple times a year, and last time we were there, uh, Miguel Castro and uh, Norris were sitting right behind us. So I went and grabbed a baseball and a marker and got to get an autograph and talk to Norris a little bit. And yeah, tons of fun. And, and the park's great over there, right? Eh? Park's gorgeous. Uh, real grass, it's, uh, you don't really see that in Toronto, no. obviously with a new AstroTurf, but um, intimate, you're right there. It's a wonderful experience to have, and I know just myself recently, we were down to the Jays game and uh, had a great time and ran into Greg Zahn. What a great guy, you know, baseball yeah. players really are, you know, down to earth. He's a down to earth guy, it seems, and lots of fun to deal with. And on another note, you're headed out. You're going on a little bit of a road trip. Yeah, uh, we're heading over to Detroit, uh, see the Jays on the road. Um, the next, uh, we're going to Chicago right after the game, and we're going to see the Cubs at Wrigley. They play Miami, and Monday the White Sox play the Jays again. So. I, Three big league games, three days. And the Wrigley Field is, it's its kind of that, uh, you know, it's kind of like Yankees, the old Yankee Stadium, right? It's that place to be. It is. It's Have the you ever second been oldest. No, it's first time in Chicago. Um, a lot of history. Went to Fenway last year, and now I get to see the second oldest ballpark, and yeah. we're sitting right in the bleachers, so we're all the hardcore you, you, fans. Yeah, sit, you'll be so. right there, and having a few beverages, I'm sure, yes. and taking in the experience. I'm going to be a Cubs fan for sure. That That's day. good. Can't and get on the Jays this year, who are you liking? Who you've been watching and following? I've been... I mean, <laughs> you've been right. You, I mean, there's so many, right? Like, I mean, you, you look at the way they've been playing ball lately. The the pitching obviously needs some help. I yeah. think everybody knows he needs a starter and reliever. But uh, you look, Donaldson's prime example, right? What a difference that guy's made to yes, this team. For what sure. do you think? Donaldson is is the man. The best trade the Jays have made since the uh, Joe Carter Alomar trade back in uh, what was that? Ninety one. I think maybe? so. Yeah. Um, one guy cut Kevin Pillar this year. He's Amazing. I think he went it right under the radar. For a guy that was gonna be the fourth outfielder, eh? Fourth outfielder. Now he's playing center field every day. Every day. I there. think I think people in Toronto appreciate his workmanlike uh, ethics, right? He yeah. just goes after everything. And same with Donaldson. Yeah. I think that's why they're fan favorites. For sure. Uh, hard work every day and they're on the field. The first guys on the field are those two, Donaldson and Pilar. Yeah. Right. So next time you're in Port Dover, stop by the Urban Prejean. Come on come on in and say hi to Brad and uh, enjoy some of the treats and uh, talk a little baseball. Brad, thanks for having us in today to your establishment. Thank you very much.